Hi right, guys, it's Dustin. Um, I'm going to bring you the next video I had in mind. It is how to screen your tank. I'm going to make a screen lid for the other side of the 65. Uh, basic, basic ingredients here to do this. You're going to need sections of... These are screen pieces of aluminum for screen. I chose black. Well, it's a dark, dark brown, but I'm going to choose this color because it's going to best match the, uh, the tank. Um, in addition to the framing, you're going to need these little gray corners. Um, once you cut them down to size, you just pop the gray corners in there to make your turns. Need some type of hacksaw in order to cut the framing down the rails. Uh, it's really easy to do. You just measure out your, your inside sections there. Um, basically what I did was measure the, the corner here from there to there. Um, I believe it was one inch. Maybe an inch and a quarter. I can't remember exactly to be honest with you. It's been a couple weeks since I uh, cut this. I have been waiting to do a video in order to do uh, put it the rest of the way together. But anyway. Um, an inch, inch and a quarter, whatever it is, measure it, make sure you measure that in, times it by two, measure a length of your tank, and then cut this to, to size and fit in between. Um, once you do that, you get all your sides cut, you pop it together with these little corner pieces, um, make sure it's good and snug, square. I plop it on the tank at that point to make sure that it's fitting in the, uh, the top of the, the tank, the rim. Um, next thing you'll need is spline. Comes in a little plastic baggie like this. Um, I got 0.125 inch diameter spline because the rails that I was using were for that particular spline diameter. Uh, once you get this spline, uh, that's going to be used to there's a little groove in the, I'm hoping you guys can see that, in the, uh, the framing for the screen. Um, you'll run the spline in that groove after you put a uh, piece of screen over top of it. You run the spline down to keep it snug. And we'll go through that real quick as well. I'm going to show you the very beginning of that and kind of do a, uh, a fast forward through me putting the rest of the spline in because I'm not this person in the world at it. I don't want to bore you guys with my ineptability to put these screens together. Uh, this isn't an incredibly difficult process. If you guys are worried that you can't get it done, I'm telling you anyone out there can do this. It's just a matter of patience. Um, and really, I don't have a whole lot of patience for a lot of things, so um, you know, I even have to have much patience. Um, anyway, so what I'm going to do now is start putting the screen in. Oh. The screen, I got this from BRS. Um, it's a, I think like a seven foot by eight foot piece of uh, PVC, well it's plastic screen. Um, it's quarter inch diameter. Basically I got quarter inch, it's quarter inch or half inch, you can order on bulk reef. I got quarter inch because it's a smaller and my fish would be, it'll, I mean, you would have to have the most miniature fish in the world in order to jump to a quarter inch screen, so. Um, the Framing I picked up at Home Depot along with the spline. Uh, this little wheel tool is used to push the spline down into the grooves. Picked up that, the framing, these corners, everything other than the, the screen itself I picked up at Home Depot. All told for this whole kit that I'm putting on, I think I've got like 25 bucks in it maybe, uh, which is relatively cheap considering. You know, any metal screens you go out and purchase for a 65 gallon tank would be a significant amount more. And this is two separate screens for each side that kind of fit right down snug into the uh, into the lid, or well, into the frame, and create a real sleek look. Uh, you don't even see that they're there until you get up on the tank and look down through the top. Alright guys, so now what I'm going to do, what I try to do, so explain this. We have the holes in there, right? I try to go down the length in the same hole. 
all the way down or in the same column or row or whatever all the way down. Um, should keep my screen nice and even. I've already pre-cut this screen to probably two or three inches wider than what the, the frame is all the way around um, in order to make sure that I have plenty of, of screen there. Uh, what's going to happen, I'm going to go ahead and put the spline in, pull the screen a little bit tall. Uh, after that, I'm going to go through and, and cut off the excess and it'll be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video for right now though. My son is in the other room crying, so I'm going to go get him. Um, I'll edit in the remainder of the video, do a little fast forward of me putting the spline in. We'll start putting the spline in, show you how it fits down the rail or whatever, give you some pointers. And then I'm going to do a fast forward of the remainder of the rail. I'll show you cutting out a little bit of the, uh, the excess screen. Um, do a little fast forward of the rest of that, and then I'll show you how it looks on the tank. Um, you guys have already seen the other half of this on my tank, but anyway, um, stay tuned. Thanks, guys. Alright, guys, we're back. So, as I said, now we're just going to put the spline in there, um, get the, the screen a little bit tight so that it looks better, and uh, we're going to finish off cutting off the excess. Um, so, what I, what I do to start out with is just by hand. Start in the corner, see if I can show you guys this without screwing anything up. Start in a corner, like right up here, kind of hand feed that into a corner. Um, you'll see there's little notches up in the corner. I don't know if you'll be able to see that very well in the video or not, but there's this little notch right here on the inside. Um, it's a part of the corner piece that really holds it in tight. Um, so what I'm going to do is Get it started in there, and like I said before, stay in the same column all the way down through here to get a nice. What, what it should, what should happen is it should give us a nice uh, uniform look. So I start, and this may not be the professional way to do it or whatever, but I start with hand feeding all of that in there, in through one of the sides. Uh, <clears throat> once I've got one side hand fed a little bit, I'll go back through with the roller. Sorry about that. Go back through with the roller. Roll it in there. What that's doing is pushing the spline down in the, the receiving part nice and tight. Um, <clears throat> at the same time securing the, the uh, screen or netting or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so you take that straight down to the corner. Got one whole side in there. Bada boom, bada boom. And then you turn, I just turn it, <clears throat> turn the whole thing um, and start trying to get this thing down in the channel. The corners is the most difficult part and I feel like it's probably the most essential, essential part as well. Um, you'll also notice if you get one of these tools, you have one that's slightly thicker than the other. This is for rolling. Uh, what I use for is rolling the sides, and then the other side is much thinner. I use that for rolling the corners. Um, and like I was saying, these corners, I feel like they're pretty essential to get them right. You have to get this, and this is going to be the most difficult part, you have to get the spline down around that corner and get it seated in there real well. Um, and that's what's going to give your spline integrity to stay hooked up throughout the whole process. Uh, for now, I'm going to stop talking. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start to fast forward right about now. You know, Just finish putting the spline in. Um, <clears throat> What I'm going to do at this point is cut off the spline to right to the edge of where the other one ends up at. <clears throat> I'm going to go back through and re-roll this whole thing to make sure I'm, I'm down in the, the groove as far as I can get. I'm using the thinner side for the corners and the wider side for the, the straights here. Um, again, another, another tip biggest thing you have to remember when you're going through and putting the spline in 
as you're just watching me, is you want to make sure that you get that, that screen in the middle tight. So make sure as you're going through this that you're pulling the screen tight um, out from the edges so that you don't end up with big wrinkles in your screen. Um, if big wrinkles aren't the end of, the end of the world or anything, but it's a much nicer look and they don't have the big wrinkles in it. So as you can see, right here in the center, got a pretty nice taunt screen. Um, just went through and rolled all the corners again. So now we are on to the last step of this whole process. And that is to use a uh, blade, I'll call it carpet knife, whatever, um, and cut the excess off. And all I'm going to do here is go around the spline, um, along the edges, right up against the spline and literally just cut off what I can see to get to down through there uh, and we'll end up with the finished product. Uh, just give me just a second to do that. Once I'm done with that I'm probably going to have to re-roll this spline again but we'll uh, tackle that once we get there. Literally all I'm doing is, is taking this and putting pressure up against the, the uh, screen frame I guess um, just enough to cut through the screen and uh, release it so that we can pull that screen or the excess screen away I'm going to go ahead and do that um, probably going to go ahead and fast forward because this might take a minute to go all the way around and no point sitting here watching me so Talk to you guys here in just a minute when I'm done cutting the screen. Alright guys, so there we go. I have a screen. Um, I'm going to have to go back through and roll this with the spline roller again. Uh, to get the spline down in the, the frame the way it's supposed to be. Um, throughout that whole process that I cut and I did pull it out a little bit in a couple of places. But it's easy enough to fix. I'm going to spline roll it again. Uh, toss it on the tank, show you guys what that looks like, and uh, that'll conclude the video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, please do so below. And uh, we'll continue to put out these great videos. Uh, well, at least, I hope you guys think they're great videos. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time. There we go, guys. It's on. Uh, it's only partially on because the metal halide is a clamp on. So until I get those LEDs in, I won't be able to put it completely on. Uh, another thing I wanted to show you, if you have cords going in, like this is my power head cord, it's real easy to fix that. Um, you just cut a couple of little slits and a couple of these holes, and uh, you'll be good to go. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. Feel free to comment below uh, if you have any pointers, tips, questions. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button, give the video a like. And uh, thanks again for watching, guys.